how to explain Markovnikov's rule using carbocation stability. So Markovnikov's rule says that when a compound HX, such as HBr, HI, HCl, reacts with an unsymmetrical alkene, the hydrogen will add to the end of the double bond, which already has the most hydrogens. And we can explain why that happens if we think about the mechanism, the electrophilic addition, and the stability of the carbocations that get formed during the mechanism. So the example that we're going to look at is HBr adding to propene. And if the H adds on this side of the carbon, we come up with this compound. And if the H adds on this side of the alkene, we come up with this compound. So in the first step of the electrophilic addition mechanism, the double bond comes down onto the hydrogen and the bond between the hydrogen and the bromine break, like that. And that could potentially give us two different carbocations. So we could have this carbocation here and this carbocation here. And the carbocations, because a carbocation is a species with a positive charge on a carbon. So when there are three methyl groups attached to carbocation, that carbocation is more stable than if there were two methyl groups attached or if there were only one methyl group attached. You can think of it as the methyl groups push electrons towards the carbon. It's not quite as simple as that. The real explanation is that the carbon is more able to draw electrons from that bond. But the important thing is, is that this carbocation is more stable than this carbocation, and this carbocation is more stable than this carbocation. So if we look at the carbocations that we've got, we have this carbocation here, and this carbocation here. And this carbocation has got one methyl group attached to the carbon. This carbocation has no methyl groups attached to the carbon with a plus. So this is the more stable carbocation. And in the last step of the electrophilic addition mechanism, the Br- comes in and donates a lone pair of electrons to the carbon in both cases. But we need to remember that this is the more stable carbocation. And so because this is the more stable carbocation, which gives rise to this product, this is the major product. And because this is the less stable carbocation, which gives rise to this product, this is the minor product.